My phones have been ringing off the hook since I've been playing local stuff, and people have been calling in with bands that I know and bands that I don't know that haven't dropped off music or haven't sent stuff in. And normally I know I only play one or two local songs a week on the show, and I don't go off and do a whole set like I did the last two weeks. But there's a lot of good talent in this town, and um, as a member of the community here, you should really support your, you know, your local artists and your local musicians. It's, you know, there would never be like if you look at cities that are big, like like that have a big sound, like say like, hey man, the Seattle grunge scene. Well, if nobody in Seattle ever supported these people, do you think they would have ever had a scene or ever had anything blow up? Do you think if people didn't go to shows and support bands or they didn't go do anything to support local artists that there would be any local artists doing anything? No. So it's up to who? You. you. That's right. You should support local bands and local artists. You, there's a, lots of, there's a few stores that sell local music in town. Um... You know, there's now hear this, the Theory Shop, Caribbean Connection. These stores carry local music and support local artists. Go shop from them. They're local businesses. They're not some big out-of-town corporation. Shop from them. Support them. They're here in your community. They're supporting you. They're trying to do something for you. The bands are in here. They play lo local clubs around town. And the clubs are local clubs. They're not big chains or anything. Support them, and the bands give back to you. If you go support the band, and the ba and a band gets signed, say, like Limp Biscuit is, a, is the guy that produced Corn is going to produce them. You know, it's good to see, it will be good when somebody from Jacksonville makes it and they're not afraid to say, hey man, I'm from Jacksonville. That Grin band is from Jacksonville and, you know, nobody says, hey, band from Jacksonville, Florida, the guy from Filters from Jacksonville, and nobody says, hey man, that guy from Filters from Jacksonville. No, I mean, they just totally are like, well, yeah, we're from Jacksonville. Well, support local music and maybe people will be glad where they're from. Go out and buy local music. Go see, Go see shows. Go to the Dakota Ring Record Show next week. And as a matter of fact, you know, I think I'll give some tickets away. If you can tell me the name of five local bands that I played in the set, you can get tickets to see Dakota, the Dakota Ring Record Show next week. Call me, 448-0933. And here's two cuts off the brand new Stevie Stiletto album. If you like punk rock, this kicks ass. I, you know, and no, Stevie, I don't have a problem with you. I'm going to continue to say this. I don't know. <laughs> and um, I don't know if it's that whole shaving cream thing from, like, years ago, but give me a break, man. I can take a shower. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's over. Don't be telling your manager that I don't like you and all these people and all these clubs that I don't like you because... Man, I don't think you and I have ever sat down and had a conversation that lasted more than five minutes, and I really don't know anything about you except I've seen your band. And when I was a, when I was a little punk rock kid, man, I had your I Want to Be a Switchblade tape in my car. And if anybody has a copy of that, send it to me because I miss it. I really miss that song. I really miss those days. And I'm glad you put some of that old stuff on this album. And I'm just talking way too long. You know? <laughs> Okay, this this is just you've been hearing me the extra baggage boy and speaking of baggage <laughs> speaking of baggage this is baggage off the stevie stiletto album and the cut after that will be stevie stiletto too this rocks check it out